Welcome back to Let's Play FTL. I'm Hunter Black Luna. We are continuing with our Taurus NG Cruiser ship, Second Light. We've got lots of crew and some interesting equipment. So far, I'm really liking the uh, ion beam drone configuration we're rolling. We will need to upgrade our drone systems if we hope to uh, have the anti-ship and the beam out at the same time. I'm not even sure if we can do that. I may have just made a giant mistake. Oh well. Wait a second, how was I powering the drones before? Alright, do this. There's no enemy ship, but... I wish we had the guys that actually gave power to whatever station they were manning. Now that's nice. Here's my question. How is this not being manned? Okay, you're our weapon person. Let's get everybody sorted out. You don't really have a place to go that's all that useful, so just hang out in... Let's switch it around. Yeah, there we go. The human can hang there. We'll put the NGs in the critical areas so that they can begin repairs immediately if something happens. And NGs are really good at repairs. Okay, with that said, we've got we've got a long road ahead of us. And a stress beacon up here. We are in NG space now, so we can see if we can seek out our brothers. Small space station. Remotely repair the targeting system or disable the defense system. We'll use NG crew. Oh nice. Some supplies, especially the fuel is appreciated. Also, the scrap for upgrades. Uh, let's upgrade drone control, which will... There we go, drone control, and... Ah, uh, if we had a little more, we could do another power bar. I suppose in that case, let's keep the scrap for the moment, although I've got a use in mind, obviously. Store up there. Not bad. Actually, yes, kind of bad, because the enemy will get there. Uh, I suppose I better get up there and buy what fuel is available. At the very least, check out the supplies. Recharge booster. Hmm, slowing their jump clock is interesting. Because, uh, we don't kill ships fast. We do, however, disable their weapon, their engines. And I'm not sure if that's just as good. to buy fuel, because I'm a little worried about that. And fix up the hole. Always good to do that when we can. Uh, drone parts. Especially if we're going to be using two drones, we might actually... Nah, that's expensive. There's a beacon over there. I think I'd rather go to this one. Put a little more distance between us and the revs. Ship refueling station. Huh. That's ironic. I'm gonna buy all the fuel. I really don't want to have to worry about fuel, I suppose. There's the revs. Another store over there. Wow. Well. It's good that we can do business with the NGs, I suppose. Rebel Automated Scout. Ah, uh, we could just get 20 scrap from it. Or we could get the data stores on this sector. Since we have NGs, I don't know if that would work better. I'll just take the scrap off it, because I like the scrap. Okay. Uh... When we reach... 55 scrap, I will upgrade our drone capacity, which will probably be after our next fight we get into. <laughs> I think we have enough time to go around and check some places out. Deep space. Oh. Well, uh, let's show them what we think of their fee. Namely, I want to disable their weapon systems immediately and deploy the anti-ship drone, please. Let's get to it, everybody. They've 
got a uh, green shield. It doesn't last very long. As in, it's done already. You know, upgrading our own shields would probably be a nice priority as well. What the hell was that? Auto fire's not on. What the hell? I have no clue why auto fire wouldn't be on. Great. Never. What was that? God damn it. Okay, we've got someone fixing it right now. Oh, you son of a bitch. Can I do the beam yet? At least I can power med base so the nano healing thing can get through. We're keeping them busy. Come on. Come on, repair. NGs are supposed to be really good at repair. Get their weapons. Come on. Ooh, direct hit. Piece of shit. Huh, that doesn't do any hull damage. Interesting. Anyway, we're hitting their... We're hitting their, uh, weapons now at least. So this is now a matter of attrition. Yeah, they can't attack us. And we're getting the occasional hit in. Which means we will emerge with the victory. And with no damage either. One of our crewmen got a little bit. You know, if I could get a drone recovery arm, that would be worth whatever price would be necessary. Okay, we have enough now. For drone control and additional power. I think that'll be good, yeah. Right? Or am I missing something here? I think I'm missing something here. Yeah. So once again, uh, decision making not the best. Yeah, we need one more power bar from somewhere. Well, I'd probably take it from engines given it's a 5% evade chance, if necessary. So it's still... The option is available to us, should we need it. Good to keep in mind, I suppose. Okay, uh... Let's head up here and hope that we can jump over there. I don't see why we couldn't. Actually, let's do this. That's a slightly safer path. I would ship nearby. Huh. Up, let's loot him. I'm hoping to find some NGs in this engine controlled sector. A little used to the engine nearby. Great. Well, we've got a bit of time left, so let's check out this area. Another one. Take your offer. Shove it. Ah. Uh, We've got things that could hurt us badly. Activate that, and... Screw it. They have a lot of health. Let's... Not from shields. But let's take one from engines. Wait a second. Okay, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, we can have both out. Nice. Ion Blaster on auto-fire, so we can really pour it on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Hmm, do we not lose the drone components if we, uh, win? Please don't kill us. Three fuel, a drone part, and 20 scrap. Uh, I don't think we're likely to get a much better deal the other way. So that's fine. Yeah, okay. And once again, zero damage to us, so hey. Hard to argue with those results. Okay, ship. Uh, we could get another power bar to make things less inconvenient. Because then I wouldn't need to draw off the engines. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, 
Yeah, I just need to draw off the med bay. Which, you know, that's the standard thing to keep unpowered anyway. Uh, okay, they're gonna advance th about this much in a turn. Pretty sure we can make it up there and then back to the FTL, even if we have to backtrack. Uh, ooh, some fuel. Well, it was worth the trip. I'm not gonna be uh, more cheeky though, we're just gonna get to the FTL beacon and get out. What I like about this game is the replayability. To civilian space station, receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. Our drone parts are our life. This is rough. Uh, three drone parts for 12 scrap. That's a drone part for 4 scrap. You have to buy them for 8 though. That's the problem. Uh, I will part with 3 drone parts. Yeah, three drone parts. I think the scrap will be of use, and I think we don't lose drone parts unless... Or I could be full of shit, I mean... And that could be the worst idea ever. Only they'd ask for missiles. Alright, uh... Yeah, we're jumping. Next sector. Oh, holy crap, really? Civilian sector, literally all the way to the end. We we have our pick of civilian sectors, so if something sounds nice, we can pick and choose our way. Wow. Uh, this nebula will help uh, slow down our pursuers, though, and I'm, I'm a big fan of that. Alright, we have upgraded doors. Upgraded sensors in the nebula, eh. Now, would the healing speed boost go for the nano thing, too? I wonder about that. Okay, we need 50 scrap to upgrade to the next level. So, let's say we need 75 scrap to get uh, the two layer shields, which I think is our next objective. Nebula here will make fleet pursuit slower. Yeah, let's hook up around here. We can explore a lot of locations. And I'm with a lot of crew, I'm not too afraid of the nebula. Oh, motherfucker. Except when that happens. Okay. The med bay has been boarded. That's. Eh. Okay, there's one person there. Stay on the engines, I guess. Yeah, power up the med bay. Both, it'll heal us residually, and I think we'll need it here. Get over. Check the other areas too. There they are. Oh shit. Come on, get in there. Let's micro around some. Oh shit, there's one in the bridge. Can't stand that very well. Get him. Micro back, yeah. Some MLG micro right here. Let's get in the fight, guys. I'm pretty sure this is the extent of our borders. He's just chilling. Okay, everyone's doing okay. Getting lots of uh, ground combat experience, too. And it's against humans. Although we do probably want to cycle out these guys and get humans in there, because the humans will be somewhat more effective in terms of the fighting okay yeah both our humans are in there right now that's good they don't have the damage their damage have and I think after we dispatch these guys we're good to go it's a shame we don't get anything from them 
Also, we need to put our crew back where they're supposed to be. Luckily, crew uh, path intelligently. I'm actually really happy about that. And you can tell from their experience totals what they're supposed to be. Barnus, you are you belong on the bridge. Which means Huts is back there. Okay, and the guy just I know he's in the drone bay because he doesn't really have anything to do. Okay. Let's get everybody sorted out. Also, this is a good way to sweep the ship just to make sure everything's cool. It's like, yeah, everything's definitely cool. Okay, our pilot is there. Weapons officer is at his post. Guys in the drone control bay. Who got the most experience? Yeah, the humans did. Which I guess makes sense. I mean, in, in a in a pinch, they are our anti-boarding team. All right, everybody's back at the stations where they do the most good. Because yes, I did notice in the last part with the human cruiser that I had gotten the pilot and the engineering officer mixed up at some point and was using them in the opposite role. Not great. Uh, yeah, I think we're going uh, space north in this particular situation. Oh boy. Automated Rebel Scout. Oh, I can't allow that. Let's get an ion blast going. Just hit their engines and don't let up. Also, uh, hitting their FTL is not a bad idea. We need to do some damage. Anti-ship seems most effective at that. Let's see if we can hack it with that. They have no shields either, so... They're just in trouble. We can really screw with their jump clock, I think, yep. Okay, their piloting is down. They're totally hosed. Yeah, we don't need the other drone. It's nice to have. We will need to purchase more drone parts. I wish there was a standard conversion rate from drone parts to uh, missiles and back. Even if it was an unfavorable exchange rate. I need that ch drone recovery on, that's for sure. I need a store. Might as well go up here, because it will become unavailable uh, thanks to the rebels. Also out of the nebula, hey. Ship refueling station. Uh, I will buy one fuel for two scrap, because that's not a bad rate of exchange. I don't need a whole ton, but it's good to have. Reported merchant location. Okay, let's see what the merchants have, or what we can sell them. Reverse Ion Field. Jump to any previously visited location. Not too bad, we don't have any hull damage. We will be buying all your drone parts. Expensive habit we have. Uh, how about fuel too? Yeah. I like having lots and lots of fuel. Okay, that's good. We're good. Ship, we could get another power bar, but I don't think we... That would allow us to power medbay and the drones, but it's not a big deal. We haven't run into O2 troubles yet. Uh, we could always just plug it into engines. Uh, 15, 25. We wouldn't have enough to power the engines then. Not quite enough. Okay. And there's the Rebels. Yeah, we kind of figured they'd be coming. Let's check out that cluster of stars. Maybe because they're closer together, it'll take less time to go to FDL. Nice. A Loyalist settlement willing to help us out. What did I determine for... Okay, second shield bar. I keep getting diverted from that. Distress signal, which is basically almost like a quest marker. Warning signals. No. Crack you! This, ship's look this ship looks a little dangerous. Uh, target their weapon systems immediately and... Go ahead and fire up both of the drones, I think, yeah. Actually, it's better than a missile, because missiles tend to 
not do as much over the long haul of a fight. Alright, let's do it. Just pour it on. Alright, their O2's down. They need to fix that. Like, there is no... That's one of their requirements. And look at that. Look at that. The drone's just messing up. And once again, we are fighting without taking any damage. And if we do take damage, the NGs can get it fixed post-haste. Faster than any other race. Uh, they can compensate us with three missiles, one drone part, 20 scrap. Uh, is that better than destroying it? I think I think we get more raw scrap, but the drone part interests me, so... Yeah, sure, we'll take the deal. We are down net one drone part now. We can go to the next level of shields, right? Not if we want to power both drones. The question is, do we take that bargain at the moment, or do we save our shit? I think what we do is we save our shit for the moment. We just need a little more scrap, and I might have gotten it if I blew him up, but I might not either. It's hard to say, there's not... There's some uh, uncertain elements in a game, which is part of the interest. So we know the distress beacon was bogus. Okay, I think what we're gonna do is go up here, then either hook down here or hook down there. Or what we could do is hook down that way and kind of ride the incoming wave of the rebel fleet. Laser blast, civilian ship. We'll give them AIDS, which is a joke stolen right from 1F Jeff. Weapons on auto fire, you know the drill. Let's uh, try to roll with just one anti-ship drone. We have the power in reserve for the other one if necessary. He only has one shield though, I'm not worried. Oh, unless we miss. But they miss us too, 20% miss chance. 20% is much better than nothing. Wow. The drone is having trouble getting to the hole. Especially based on the tempo of firing, the drone is getting their hole down. There we go. Alright, now their engine's down. That's gonna be a problem. I don't know, just holding down their weapons and sitting on that seems very effective at protecting ourselves from any damage. Or at the very least, from bad damage. Yeah, they're pretty hosed. And we can conserve some of our drone parts are expensive as hell. Gotta fix their O2, they gotta do it. Wait a second, do they have a door to their O2? I don't think they do, they just have a guy in there. Well, they didn't offer their surrender. Oh ho, ho, look at, look at that, oh man. Pretty good. I'd like a second shield. Because, yeah, then we plug two points into shield and we have four in reserve, two for each drone. I like it. Nice. Double shields. Give it a moment to come online. This makes us even harder to hit when we're using our complete asshole ion bolt tactics. I don't think I will dawdle too long in getting to the exit point. Federation Encrypted Signal. Mm, damn it! I don't want to lose crew! Oh. Nice. I took the gamble. Probably worth it considering how much just raw scrap we're getting. Nice. There's a store over there, and it's right in the path of the rebels. Question is, will we be able to stay abreast of that? I don't... We haven't been there before. Let's try it, yeah. I think we'll be able to stay right ahead of the rebels. Hmm. Boarding drone. 
awesome. It's an awesome drone. Automatically repairs three to five damage to your hull. Drone part is consumed once it finishes. What? You're kidding. You can repair your hull? That is that is incredible, frankly. That's not bad either, but we have lots of crew, so boarding is not a situation I'm overly worried about. Uh, a boarding drone against the enemy would have a lot of really awesome applications, because the thing is, the boarding drone lands, and it causes a hull breach where it is, too, which makes it difficult for organics to fight it when uh, the air is leaking. So either of these are very legitimate options. We have been playing a defensive uh, campaign so far. I like having this option. I like having the beam weapon option. But man, you know, I think uh, boarding requires three power. We can upgrade our reactor, though. I keep hearing that cloaking is essential for the end boss. Uh... But if we could obtain a defense drone, that wouldn't be bad. Or a whole repair drone, frankly. And we've got NGs that are good at repairs. I've seen it done without. So the question is, hull repair or boarding? Uh, okay, the boarding drone looks awesome. I gotta try it. I gotta. I've been boarded so much and I never get to do it back to the enemy. Now the question is, do we need to upgrade? Yeah. That's the thing. Drone, uh, drone needs an upgrade, which we can't afford right now. In order to do it. Yet I, I kind of stand by my uh, policy so far. Although we should definitely swap it out for the moment because we can use this. Oh, and the store. Uh, drone parts? Yes. At least the one. We're still good on fuel and missile. Man, if we find one of those random events that lets us sell missiles, we'll be set. Okay, we need to get moving, and I mean, like, it's probably time for the bomb rush to the exit. Oh boy. A pirate, apparently oblivious. So it's a dumbass pirate, great. Oh, they have a combat drone, do they? Not impressed. Okay, I want this fight to be over quickly, so... Target their shields. Do I go both drones right away? I think I do. Yeah. Choke on my drones, please. And there goes their shields. Target the weapons. Now they will just wreak all sorts of systemic havoc, havoc on the ship. We merely request our lives. Four fuel, uh, one drone part, 17 scrap. Uh, four fuel, I like, I like the fuel, I really do. I like not having to worry about fuel. We accept your offer then, and we will depart as soon as our FTL is charged. Because you decided to jump us like an asshole a solar flare, so as soon as we can jump, we're going. Jump, Starbuck, jump the ship. Alright, I think we can do this and still get to the... Get to the long... Get to the long range beacon. Huh. A drone schematic. Ooh. Now that's nice. And even if we don't need it, we can sell it. Okay, drones 45. Yes, we can do it! <laughs> Not bad, and we don't have another pressing need, so... Let's swap up our equipment setup. 
boarding. Yes. Yes. In fact, that might be more fun. We just hold down their weapons and shoot a boarding drone at them. Although, I don't know. I think it would be more effective when used in conjunction with other uh, drone types to really mess them up. Alright, let's just go. Yeah, we've done we've done pretty decently in this sector, I think. Not to mention, I'm ha I'm really having a lot of fun with this ship type. It's I didn't think it would be so good. That's the thing. Rebel automated scout. Despite its pristine condition, if you speed act, you know, if we sent a boarding drone there, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't be able to fight us off. Oh, even better. We get scrap drone parts, map information. I mean. It doesn't really matter right now, because uh, we're just going to be jumping. And civilian sectors are... I've never seen a... Look at that! Look at that! Oh my god! If nothing else, let us give thanks for this map. Welcome to the new sector. We have nebulae, so we can... Just take our freaking time. Now the question is, do we go through the heart of the nebula? Or do we go up and over? Um, I say we go south, actually. We can go here, here, then either up, up there, or around there. And since it's so far away from the revs, we can do so even do something like that. Spend a few jumps in a nebula to slow them down. Heavily damaged Federation ship. Aw. Yeah, we need the long-range stuff. Which we just simply do not have. That's a shame. Black market weapons trader spins you a tale of the dangers of the nebula. Hmm. They're mantis, which means they're going to board us. Unless we do it to them. I say we attack. Not the most ethical thing in the universe, but hey. I don't suppose we'll get our ion blast off before the teleporter. So I'm just gonna target the first volley at the shields, and we're going to obviously go anti-ship, and we're gonna wait until they teleport over. Not sure where they're gonna go. Yeah, there they are. Then we'll send the boarding drone after them. Have fun with that one, assholes. Okay, we've got... They're over there. Time to power on the med bay so it can give us some residual healing. Yeah, there they are. Gonna have to watch that. Let's get the humans in there. They don't have quite such a crippling damage. Uh, disadvantage. Yeah, get out of there. Micro out. Next. Up. Oh. Ooh. Oh, well, that's not good. Motherfucker. Boarding drone is certainly keeping them busy, and there's a hole breach there. Yeah, we. I picked a fight with the mantis. Not. A, an especially smart decision. Come on guys, get working on that stuff. We really need it. 